Hi, I'm Bobby Albani. I'm a freshman here at MIT. Um, I am from Philadelphia, and I'm thinking about studying computer science or mechanical engineering. Um, but uh, other than that, I do squash here, and I'm also in uh, the Japanese Student Union, JSU, and um, I'm excited to show you guys my day. We are in front of the Student Center. Um, this is actually the Alchemist statue, um, which MIT is very famous for. But um, yeah, I guess a typical day, um, I wake up at around 9 a.m. Uh, <laughs> I don't <laughs> tend to eat breakfast, but uh, I wake up at 9 a.m., uh, go to Intro to World Music at 9.30, um, which is about a five minute walk, so I get a little bit of time to myself. Um, that class is around an hour and a half, so from there I will go to my chemistry lecture, which is also relatively close, but that goes from 11 to 12. And from there, I actually return back to my dorm for about an hour so I can eat some lunch, get to talk with my friends a bit uh, before I'm off to class again, which is physics, um, which is an hour and a half lecture. And then from there, I'm going back to math uh, for an hour, a math recitation, which we just sort of like work through problems um, and talk about uh, any problems we had um, in class. Um, from there, I end around about four. Uh, I go back to my dorm for about 20 minutes, um, maybe eat something, have some fun, and then go straight to squash practice, which goes from 5 to 7 p.m. From 7 p.m., I go straight back to my dorm again um, to eat some dinner, and then from there, I'm going to start studying, and then hopefully get to bed around 1 a.m., 2 a.m.-ish. <laughs> outside of Lobby 7, um, which is one of the main entrances to the main academic building. Um, so yeah, a lot of uh, classes, a lot of actually um, different kinds of classes are held in this building. Uh, I just got out of uh, Intro to World Music class, uh, and I'm, right now I'm sitting on the steps in Killian Court. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Intro to World Music is a course that is sort of centered around understanding different world music. The best part of this class, I think, is just the ability to really understand different cultures, and not only that, to be able to actually experience them in workshops that we do every week, actually. So it's a really nice way to really understand different world music, um, and I'm a <laughs> very... Uh, I, I personally really like music. Uh, I play piano and saxophone, uh, and I think it's just a really nice way to really understand how other cultures um, sort of build their own music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so currently I am enrolled in four different classes. Um, each class, or at least most classes that are STEM related, um, which I'm enrolled in three of, which is chemistry, physics, and math. Um, all of those three have a lecture three times a week and a recitation, which is two times a week. Lecture is just a general overview of the material that we need to know, and recitation is a space where you it's just you and 20 or so other students, um, and it's giving you a space to sort of like talk to you, to your uh, teacher's assistant one-on-one, uh, -on -one, um, maybe talk through some problems you're having, and maybe even talk about uh, some issues you're having on the P-set or on your homework. Um, that you need to understand. Um, so it's a, uh, personally I actually really enjoy recitations because it is a good place to like really understand the material when in lecture it's more of just sort of like being told to you um, and it's really hard to get like a one-on-one -on -one sort of relationship with the professor. So currently I'm considering computer science and uh, mechanical engineering um, as my majors um, and I guess the reason for that is in high school I definitely had a lot of interest in Comp sci. I took a lot of uh, took a lot of classes. I took APCSA, um, all that. <laughs> um, but I guess recently, um, I sort of thought that maybe I'd really like to have a more like stand-up job where I'm doing things instead of I guess sitting at a desk and sort of like working on code for a whole day. Um, but I guess it's just a 
it is like a new like, realm for me. So um, next semester, I'm planning on taking a class where I'm actually going to be able to create different toys um, and sort of just see <laughs> how fun that is and I guess make a decision from there. Mm -hmm. I guess comparing the academics to high school, it is definitely a lot more in depth. Um, it takes a lot more work to get through problems and overall just takes a lot more time just studying and understanding the material. But at the same time, uh, I don't know whether or not it, this is from um, PNR, uh, which is pass no record. Um, each, all freshmen um, in their first semester at MIT are able to um, either pass or it doesn't go on their transcript. Um, so it alleviates a lot of stress. And I don't know if it's because of that, um, but I feel like it's a very seamless transition between high school and MIT. Um, I've felt that um, a lot of like the studying and the group work is very collaborative. Um, it's really nice to be able to talk to just about anyone about your work and to be able to just like understand how they think they're through their process and maybe compare it to yours and really just maybe change your way of thinking um, about certain concepts. Um, uh, and I think it's most telling in office hours and in recitations that this place is less so com competition and more so working together uh, through, <laughs> through the same pain <laughs> of class um, and sort of like getting through it together, which is awesome. We're in front of Memorial Drive. Um, right behind me is the Charles River. I guess the most surprising part, I think, was just, I guess, how collaborative everything was. I think especially going through, after going through college uh, applications and that whole process, it's really easy to get in the mindset of competition and really having to, I guess, outdo your peers. But after getting here, I think there's a huge community of, of really working together to get through things. Um, and just, I guess, even asking upperclassmen to, I guess, help you out in not only your coursework, but also um, how you structure your time here at MIT and what you want to really do here. So I think it's just a really nice place to figure everything out um, and get everyone's opinion on it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess um, for anyone that's looking to apply to MIT, I think my, my biggest point of advice um, would be to first, I guess, study MIT, really understand um, how MIT works, um, what it stands for, and if that aligns with you. I think MIT all around is a great place um, with a lot of resources. And um, if you are really interested in those resources, it's an amazing place for you um, and is a great place <laughs> to really just dig into your passion. Um, and I guess once you're past that stage, uh, it's really just being able to communicate uh, your passion for MIT, why you're passionate for MIT, um, covering like I guess the topics that uh, you studied about, um, and also just like why it's such a good fit for you. So say, for example, me and myself, um, I've always been really interested in STEM, in robotics, in computer science. Um, and I talked all about that in my, my essays um, and really just connected that to what I really wanted to do here. Um, um, so for example, the Europe program, um, which is the undergraduate research opportunities program, um, which allows a lot of undergraduates to conduct their own research um, and work with uh, graduates and even professors. Um, and just being able to, I guess, connect yourself to those programs. Um, and really communicate that this is what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I think social life is pretty interesting here, I'd say. Um, I guess first, um, the, I guess the community around fraternities and sororities is very big, but I'd also say it's very different from other schools. Um, it is a lot more, I guess, 
sort of like toned down, I think, and a lot of them are more so living communities um, than what you, I guess, what you consider a traditional fraternity or sorority. Um, in fact, I've actually joined one. I've joined Pi Lambda Phi, um, and we are more so a living community than one that sort of like does a bunch of really weird stuff. Um, <laughs> but um, I think in terms of that, it's a really good way to get to know people who are like-minded. Um, and apart from that, um, I think it is a very friendly community to be able to join um, different uh, groups, different cultural groups, um, even like different clubs and such. Um, and it's, I think it's really easy to just reach out and say, hi, can I join? Um, and then everyone would say yes. Um, so it's, it's really easy to find people that are interested in the same things. I guess to unwind, I tend to actually just sort of like hang with friends. Where I live right now, I'm, my room is situated right in front of our floor lounge. So I'm at a point where I just sort of like, whenever I'm tired or I just don't want to be working, I sort of just leave my room and right there, everyone's sort of there. So I just like sit around and talk with friends. Um, on weekends, I like to maybe go with a bunch of friends, go to Boston, uh, maybe just get some food, maybe some lunch or dinner. Um, occasionally, just like, I don't know, dress up, have some fun, <laughs> go, to, go to a nice place. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's what I mostly do. Um, and I guess apart from that, maybe just game with some friends. <laughs>